Hi, Carl. Um, so to add those, uh, I was talking to you about when I said that you can have 50 million different, uh, you know, versions of cute, not that there are, but uh, you could have, you know, five or six of them if you like. Um, anyways, all you do okay, is you go and you download one of the ones that you need from here. You then just run it, just like in my first video with setting it up. So after you do that, if the help pages aren't working for you, what you can do is you can add each one individually, or you can just add whole entire toolkits. So to do this, we just go to Tools, Options, we go to Build and Run, we go to QT Versions, and then we would just add a version simply by clicking on Add and finding what's called the QMake file, okay? So like, I know that I have a QMake file underneath my home. I have a QT 5.1 stable, 5.0, and now I have an Android one that I can add right here, which is under bin. There's the QMake file. I could add one for Android x86. I could add one for GCC, which is Linux desktop. And it's all underneath the compiler's name, or the version, and then the bin directory. And there's the QMake. And then you just add it, and you would press OK. But I already have it added, so I'm not going to do that. And then you would go over to your kits. And then you would add a kit if it doesn't automatically show up. So this is how you can have multiple, multiple version, uh, different versions of Qt, uh, the libraries, within the, uh, you know, just within the, um, the creator, right? Or you can add the help files manually just by going to help, documentation, add, and it will be underneath your compiler version, right? And then you would go to doc and find the cute compression help files. Right, like right here, QCH. And you would just add those, but I already have them all added. Or another thing that you can do is you can download cute from their source code, which is if you go down to the bottom of this page right here, it's freezing up on me. Uh, but if you go to the bottom of that page, it'll show you where to get it. And then in, after you run make, you just run make docs. Um, I hope this uh, helps you out. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.